Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get volume on your hair. I do this all with a blow dryer and a brush. That's all I use. And rude. Anyway, so we're going to go on with this video. I know you guys are probably wondering what the hell's wrong with her hair. I know. So I already blow dried the bottom a little bit, but I'm going to start doing the rest just to show you guys step by step what I do to my hair to get some bomb ass volume because nowadays I feel like everybody's hair looks flat. And I don't know, I think the volume always looks a lot classier. So I was like, eh, you know what? Um, my sister-in-law mentioned the other day, she was like, you should make a video, like how you get your volume in your hair. And I was just like, you know what, maybe I should. <laughs> so here it is, you guys, a little tutorial on how to have more volume on your hair rude okay guys here we are in my restroom bathroom <laughs> i keep forgetting like bathroom is when there's like a bath and restroom is when it's just a restroom anyways ignore that i'm just being a dork so this is where i'm gonna be doing my hair ignore the background and everything and i'm gonna put some low music and my voice over now because i don't think you guys want to hear the little and just so you guys know i'm using like a regular like blow dryer this is actually like one of those hotel blow dryers <laughs> i know <too. laughs> so long story don't ask me how i got this um my uncle gave it to me he found it i don't know i don't know but he gave it to me and it's just a random ass blow dryer you guys can use any blow dryer this works with any one and i'm using one of these yes one of these little tube looking brushes i don't use um anything else other than this and if anything, I do apply a little bit of oil on my hair. This is the um, Garnier Sleek and Shine blah, Anti Frizz blah blah blah. <laughs> okay, so that's what I use on my hair just so that it doesn't like burn it or anything. And it seems to be working just fine for me. You guys can use whatever products you guys want. If you guys don't like that one, but that's all I'm going to use and let's go on with the video. So before I start doing the rest, I'm going to show you guys what I already did. It's just the bottom layer of my hair. Make sure your hair is damp before you start. So it has to be damp, like maybe you just got out of the shower, just kind of give it a quick dry with your towel so it's not like soaking wet and it's easier to dry faster. And this is what I did at the bottom. I literally just, you know, go this way because I like to do my curls inwards. A lot of people do them outwards, but I like to do them inwards. It looks a lot classier to me, like for an everyday hairstyle. Um, I feel like the the outer waves would be for like a party or something where like your waves just flow as you walk you know <laughs> but anyways so these i literally just like brush this way spin the brush this is what i'm gonna be doing throughout the whole video so pay attention okay so i literally just do this and then brush downwards as i'm blow drying and then towards the bottom you give it a little twist but don't do the twist until your hair is already dryish so you want to keep sleeking it like keep brushing it, sleeking is not even a word so you want to keep brushing it and blow drying at the same time pretend I have the blow dryer okay, you're going to be blow drying it the whole time like this until it's kind of like dry already and it's straightened from the top and when you see that you go for the bottom and you start, you grab with your hand and you start twirling it like this inwards and then you start doing this you're literally just spinning and yes this is gonna be a little painful if you're not used to having your hands up so you're gonna get used to it so this is all I do I spin it and spin it and obviously you can move the blow dry this way this way this way and then after it's done you get like this it depends on how curly you want it the longer you do it the more curly that tip is gonna look but I don't like it too curly I just like a little wave like this you can see that little wave I just like that little wave just to give it that like small little curve, you know, but yeah. Anyways, going on with it, I'm going to do the rest of my hair and you guys can enjoy my waist over. <laughs> Bye. Okay, ladies, so what I'm doing here is I'm parting my hair. I'm pinning it up with a clip. You literally just need one clip. And I'm going to grab my dry hair and just throw it to the back and bring the wet hair to the front. It just makes it easier for me. This will probably work for you too. Also, you want to take your brush and go over your hair before you start blow drying just to make sure that it's detangled completely before you start drying like I'm doing right now. Hey. 
Also, to get the best volume effect, you want to push your brush upwards when you're drying the top as I'm doing right here. And that's going to help your hair dry upwards. So it's going to give you that extra volume. Not only is it going to look higher and, and vol voluminous, <laughs> voluminous, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> but it's going to help your hair look bigger and just fuller. And if you have thin hair, this is actually going to give it the effect that you have a lot of hair. Okay, now that the top is dry and straight, we're going to start off from the half of the hair to the bottom and we're going to start twisting that in circles and twirling until we get that desired effect that we want. It, it depends how you want it, if you want it curlier or if you just want a nice wave. I'm just doing a nice wave, that's just my preference. But look at how I'm twisting that brush. Like I said, your hands are going to get a little tired at first, but you'll get used to it. That's what happened to me too. There we go. There's a little curl I was looking for. <laughs> so see how bouncy it is. That looks amazing when your full hair is like this and you're walking. Even the lightest walk will make your hair bounce and I think that's freaking awesome. <laughs> I think it looks so elegant and to me that's honestly very important because I feel like your hair says a lot about you and how you carry yourself and I don't know. I just feel like it shows that you put in so much effort into yourself and that's very nice as a female you know we got to do these things sometimes and look good and feel good and it's crazy because i feel like a lot of people judge a lot of people will say that you don't like to do anything or that you're lazy because you're all fixed up or your hair's done your nails are done your makeup is done which i think makes no freaking sense because if you think about it like those people take the effort and and the time to do what they have to do to feel good and look good throughout the day they're actually like the most productive people and i include myself in that list okay this is what it's looking like so far ladies you guys can see that little curl at the end now let me speed this video up a little bit just so you guys can see more results a lot faster i don't want you guys to click off this video <laughs> Now, everything at the bottom was all repetitive, but this is where it changes. I don't know why I did that with the brush. <laughs> but we're going to take our brush and put it in the back like this. And I'm going to take the blow dryer and start drying upwards. And this is going to give it like a very nice bump towards like the back of your hair, which creates volume. It looks super, super nice and classy. You guys will see the results in a couple seconds. You can start to see the little bump forming in the back already, as you guys can see right here. So I think the bangs are the most important part because you can flip these from one side to the other. So I like to curl upwards like this as well so that it goes back just like my hair and it also gets out of my face. You guys will see right now when I flip it back. Okay, now for the finishing touch, I like to put on some dry shampoo and this is just a random one that I got at Marshalls and you guys, this is amazing. I'll put the name down below because I don't remember what it's called, but oh my god, I feel like this leaves my hair so dry at my scalp. Like, I feel like my hair doesn't get greasy with this and it just makes it so easy for me to be able to like flip my hair back just like I'm doing right now and not get my scalp greasy like i don't know if you guys have that issue but i hate it <laughs> so yeah that helps a lot um if you guys are interested in getting that um dry shampoo i got it from marshall's and it'll be down below in the details let me know if you guys want some other videos for me to make comment them down below i look at every single comment and respond to all of you guys just let me know okay ladies so since you made it to the end of the video you get the secret word so you gotta comment brush comment brush down below if you made it this far in the video which i honestly applaud you because this was a long video and i know it takes time and stuff but if you really want to learn how to do something you gotta take the time to do research and watch the whole thing so you can actually learn how to do it <laughs> anyways um i'm gonna top this off with my little headband that i wanted to wear today <laughs> and I'm gonna go do my makeup but that is the end of this video and this is how I get volume on my hair every single time so you can flip it this way you can flip it this way 
rude <laughs> and yeah guys that's how you get volume thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video